शुभमन जिस तरह का मैच हुआ बैटिंग कर रहे थे आपको लगा दो दो हंड्रेड हुआ आपको लगा कि आपका भी हंड्रेड होता अगर क्रैम्प नहीं आता तो क्रैम्प नहीं आता तो हाँ मे भी हंड्रेड होता मेरा भी बट आई थिंक जो टोटल हम पहुंचने की कोशिश कर रहे थे रिस्पेक्टिव मेरा हंड्रेड होता है नहीं होता वहाँ पे हम पहुंच गए फोर हंड्रेड के आसपास उम्मीद थी ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ थर्टी तो तक कि यार इतने बनने चाहिए और उतने बनाए हमने तो फ़र्क नहीं पड़ता कि मेरा सा हुआ या नहीं हुआ मैच से पहले थोड़ा सा पिच को लेकर कुछ कंट्रोवर्सी हुई थी तो क्या उस बात का इम्पैक्ट कहीं से था इंडियन टीम पर इंडियन प्लेयर्स पर आप लोगों की कुछ बात हुई थी सर मुझे तो अभी पता लगा पिच के ऊपर कंट्रोवर्सी हुई थी आपने बताया अभी क्या कंट्रोवर्सी थी शुभन कॉन्ग्रेट्स यू रीच द फाइनल इन योर फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड कप टूर्नामेंट यू हैव डन वेल ऑफ कोर्स यू वन द जूनियर वर्ल्ड कप एस वेल um how does it feel and also when they were chasing they were doing fairly well at one part of time williamson and uh, um mitchell how did you how did the team deal with that honestly i think we knew it was going to be challenging uh, especially under the lights on this once the new ball gets a bit old it is a bit difficult for bowlers here to you know contain runs so we knew it's going to be challenging but what was important for us was to just keep bowling the areas where we wanted to bowl and wait for them to make a mistake and uh, that's what we did and i think uh, darrell land at one point darrell and kane the partnership that they had it was looking a bit uh, challenging but with such big scores you know you know couple of wickets here and there you're always in the game and your own your own um, performance reaching the final having won the junior world cup as well feels great you know i'm in the way our batting bowling and fielding the way we have dominated in this world cup it's just as a player to be able to play with all all those players uh sitting in the dressing room it's just been a magnificent run for us shubhan uh, can you talk about uh, mohammad shabi uh, itna successful hai wo few matches hi khele lekin ki itna difficult ho raha hai batsman ko khelna aur aap unko nets mein khelte hain to kis tarah se matlab dekhte hain ki difficult hota hai unko khelna nets mein bhi जी बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है नेट्स में ऐसा ही होता है कि विकेट थोड़ी अच्छी रहे तो ये ठीक है नहीं तो शमी भाई नई बॉल से अगर विकेट में थोड़ी हेल्प हो फिर तो बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है उनको बट मज़ा भी आता है खेलने के लिए क्योंकि इवन बुमराह और सिराज और शमी भाई इनको नेट्स में खेलने में मज़ा भी बहुत आता है और डेफिनेटली काफ़ी चैलेंजिंग रहता है शुभमन वर्ल्ड कप में ही विराट के साथ आपकी दो काफ़ी बड़ी पार्टनरशिप्स हुई आज भी हुई जिसके पहले श्रीलंका मैच में भी थी उनके साथ बैटिंग करने का एक्सपीरियंस क्या है व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एक्सचेंजेस यू हैव इन द मिडल अगर उसके बारे में बात कर सके कुछ तो ऑनेस्टली बस यही बात करते हैं कि किस सिचुएशन uh, में अभी हमें और कैसे खेलना है आगे और uh, बस उसके बाद एक बार जब रन चलते रहते हैं बिकॉज आई थिंक दोनों का गेम थोड़ा हम दोनों का गेम थोड़ा सिमिलर है उस स्टाइल से क्योंकि उनको भी रन चलते रहना पसंद है और मुझे भी थोड़ा बिजी सिंगल डबल बीच में बाउंड्री सिंगल डबल बीच में बाउंड्री बिकॉज आई थिंक दोनों वी कॉम्प्लीमेंट आर गेम क्वाइट वेल सो आई थिंक इट वर्क्स क्वाइट वेल इन द मिडल जैसे विराट के साथ बैटिंग की बात हुई है वॉट अबाउट ओपनिंग विद रोहित यू नो वॉट हैव यू लर्न फ्राम हिम एंड हाउ आई मीन इज देर समथिंग विच रियली इम्प्रेस यू अबाउट ऑल एवरी थिंग यू नो एवरी थिंग अबाउट एम रियली इम्प्रेस मी एंड उनके साथ पार्टनरशिप के तो मैं तो नॉन स्टेक रेंट पर खड़े रहता हूँ पूरे टाइम पावर प्ले में दस ओवर होते हैं मैं पंद्रह बीस बॉल खेलता हूँ बाकी वो रोहित भाई आते हैं अपना इधर चौका इधर चक्का मैं नॉन स्टेक रेंट पर बस देख ही रहा हूँ शुभन ही दिस टीम एस कॉन कट एवरी थिंग देव वन एवरी थिंग एंड इट सीम्स लाइक दे आर इन्वेंसिबल इन दिस वर्ल्ड कप वॉट इज इट दैट this makes this team this uh, apart from the skill set whether it's the atmosphere or is there something that brings the together as a group what is it from your point of view i think one that we've been this this team i think i've been we've been playing together for like the past one year or so and i think we know our roles quite well and i think the difference that has been for me personally honestly it's been our bowling attack the way our uh, bowling attack has bowled uh they have in i think in all the matches they have always uh, either defended the total or restricted the other team to a blow a par score so i think that's been the difference 
Shuman, just extending that question regarding your role when you're opening with Rohit. How difficult does it get to kind of hold that temptation back because he's going all out from one end? So what is your role during that period? Because today we saw after he got out, you kind of started playing your shots more freely. So is that the plan that, you know, as long as he's there, you'll be kind of seeing it through and then go big after he goes? Honestly, when he was there, I didn't get that many balls. <laughs> so <laughs> After that, I started to get, uh, no, I mean, honestly, my role is just, you know, play my game in the power play, uh, look for good shots, look for good boundaries, and then once the power play is over, because I rotate the strike quite well, then, you know, rotate the, uh, rotate to the spinners, and then once you are in, then it's all about you and your instinct, how you, how you play, how you, you know, see which bowler to take on. If the bowler is under a bit of pressure, then you know when to take on. It's all about reading the game after that. Shubman, I assume you grew up watching Virat play all the time and you batted with him today on the day he scored his 50th century. I just wondered what that was like for you. You know, every time he comes on to the park, he does something special and uh, just how consistently he's been able to do it for the past 10, 15 years is what is really... Uh, inspiring and I think it's for me it's not so much about the skill that he has but it's more about the hunger when he goes there and the intensity at which he plays the game is what inspires me and to be able to have that consistently for a for as long as he's he's been doing it is what really inspires me can I just ask your injury are you okay what happened there it it started with cramps and then uh, I pulled my hamstring a little bit and I think these are just the, it was quite humid and just the after effects of uh, dengue. You think you'll be okay for Sunday? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Shubman, you've got a 100% record in World Cup Finals um, with the Mount Manganui win in Tauranga. Um, you're going back to your home ground, which is for the Gujarat Titans, you're playing in front of 130,000 people potentially. Um, this journey has been fantastic over the last four years. You're the only one from that batch which has kind of made that transition into the team currently. How does it all feel? How do you take it in and how do you keep yourself grounded? Honestly, there are a like, lot of things to look forward to. Right now, we have the finals. After that, we'd have some other important series, but uh, those are all in hindsight right now. And if you are always looking for something uh, to look forward to, then it, it, it keeps you grounded because there's something for you to always work on. <laughs> Shuman, you mentioned your dengue just now and having recovered from that. Uh, physically, like over all these games that you've played, like how difficult has it been and has, have you had to like adjust something in how you uh, bat or anything about your game at all? Not really. I've honestly not really adjusted anything in terms of my batting but because I've lost a bit of uh, muscle mass uh, I think the reserve that I used to have before the dengue has decreased a little bit and that's why generally I don't really get cramps when uh, like you do get cramps when you're playing in humid conditions but that happens after, for me it happens after a long period of time not not uh, so soon but because I think I've lost a bit of muscle mass the reserve has gone down a bit thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you.